Hi, I'm Chris, the developer of OctoApp. It's this time of the year again, a new Octo version is ready. Let's take a look at what changed. iOS first. The iOS app still lacks some features of the Android app, and version 2.2 resolves that situation for the most part. This means OctoApp now supports widgets on iOS. It's the same widgets you know and love from Android. You can see your printer's webcam and current status. Like on Android, the widgets can be linked with a specific printer or show the printer currently active in the app. There are also lots of configuration options, so you can style the widgets exactly how you like them. Adding the widgets also unlocks support for the Shortcuts app. This means you can create automations, like stopping the print when you leave your house. You can also run shortcuts with the action button on the side of your iPhone or from your iPhone's lock screen. I have this pause shortcut linked below. When you receive a notification from OctoApp, the latest webcam snapshot is now attached to the notification. This works at home, but also on the go if you set up remote access in the app. Please note, it's not possible to append images to live activities yet. That's something Apple doesn't allow. So for now, this is limited to notifications only. Well, Android got the same treatment with webcam snapshots in the notifications. Also here, it works from home, but also on the go if you set up remote access in the app. But there's more, of course. I continued my journey to re-implement the Android UI in the new framework, bringing over some improvements that were already present in iOS. This version includes a refined control center, the terminal and time-lapse archive. There's also a new file browser that loads files now even faster than before. The file details are now also cleaned up a bit, and of course you can still see your G-code preview. The biggest improvement is the new copy function. For the first time, you can now copy files between two printers. OctoApp downloads a file from one printer and then uploads it again to the other. This also works on iOS, of course, and that's version 2.2. As always, there have been many small improvements all over the app that didn't quite make the cut for this video. Feel free to drop into one of my weekly printer live streams here on YouTube and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. As always, enjoy the app and happy printing.